Yeah, they're just seeing the logo. They haven't said that they can hear me. John says no audio. Patty on Facebook. Hi, Patty. Can you hear us on Facebook? It might be a couple minutes. Six, five, four, three, two, and we are ready to roll. Hi, this is Michael at Bridge Hands, and today it is another one of those days that we see out there in Internet Land. I'm not sure what's going on with Mr. YouTube today, but uh, I'm going to take a final look here, and it's I get a message that says, error, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. So I'm seeing everything's going fine on Facebook. I'm looking at my upload speed. I'm getting 30 megabits per second. Everything is peachy leaving River City. Um, Petaluma is on the Ritter by, river, by the way. So I don't know what's going on out in YouTube, but um, everything was looking good as I started about half an hour ago, and... Um, stuff happens so where to go first i guess i'm going to just go ahead and jump right into the lesson today and um, grace you might also on facebook um, and youtube uh, put our call in number so if people want to listen um, audio this could be like old radio talk days so i do have a um, audio link up here all righty people want to come in and listen to us that way and what's that, that number is a number five six three Nine 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 two one eight five two one eight five. I'm gonna put that screen up here. Let's see, go over to the and maybe this one. There it is. Okay. 563-999-2185 is the call-in number if you want to kind of jump in on the bridge and be sure to mute yourself, or I guess I can do a star 5 to mute, but star 5 is a way to mute your telephone, and you'll be listening to me in real time. If you're on Facebook, the video is how long um, after that, Grace? Pardon me? How long is the Facebook coming after the delay? Facebook is currently... Maybe 20 seconds? Yeah, I'm not quite okay. sure. It anyway, looked like it so, was a couple of minutes, yeah, honestly. Yeah, I don't think it's that slow anymore because I see it's already got this new screen up. Okay. So that's our number. If you want to come in on the bridge, I don't hear anybody yet. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get my earbud in so I can kind of hear those calls without having to have it too loud on my polycom speaker. Check test. Check. Okay. Hopefully I've got that working. So, okay, we're going to not worry about all the stuff that's going on here today. And um, welcome once again to Bridge Hands. And so today is something a little bit different is our lesson plan. And that is we're going to be talking about whether when you've got 15 to 17 high card points, do you want to open one no trump or maybe do you want to try something else? Do you want to open that one heart or one spade? Which probably a lot of people do. That's kind of the way we're taught. If we have a five card major, doggone it, open it because the golden rule says we look for an eight card fit in the major whenever possible. Um, that's all well and good, but there is another issue that we need to consider, and that is that if we open one no trump 15 to 17, we may not get partner to go to game. And Grace, do you have something coming in? Okay, I thought you were signaling me. So at any rate, so those are things we're going to be talking about today. And so then it gets into how do we do a determination? Is it like because somebody tells you so, we read it in a book, our partner says, um, oh, you should have done it this way rather than the other. No, we like to use science. So we're going to take a look at some of the science associated with that, hopefully anyway. And uh, let's see, I'm going to get some comments over here. And um, I see on Facebook, um, well, I'm looking, I guess, at YouTube at all the comments not up yet. I'm going to just 
Grace, are you keeping up with the comments on um, YouTube? I am on YouTube and Facebook. Okay. Um, YouTube. I think Grace's channel actually says California Travel Videos, but that's a whole other story. But, um, <laughs> anyway, California Travel Videos is another one of her channels. That's, that's Grace. where her comments are coming from. So, yeah, it looks like on YouTube they're not getting any audio. They're not getting any um, visual. They are getting my comments. So they've got the link to go to Facebook and join us there. Um, I almost am debating on whether we should just close out YouTube and, and do Facebook only today. Okay, thank you. And go ahead one more time and put the Facebook link over on California Trump, excuse me, yeah, over on YouTube. I'm seeing Patty there. Um, Mary's there. Hi, Mary. Good to have you here. So as I was saying, what we're going to do is taking a look at the no Trump versus opening one of a major. And that's a little bit of a challenge, I've got to admit, in terms of what would be the criteria on how you would use science, how you would use the mathematics to decide this. And so that's what we're going to do to start off this lesson today. Let's talk about how would you do that. So um, here we go. Um, first off, we're talking about the following. Obviously, 15 to 17 high card points are the hands that we're going to be taking a look at. And for our illustration, we'll just use one of the majors. We'll use the spade suit. Grace, do you have something? We're just seeing the phone number still. Okay, I'm going to change that in a second. Um, I don't see the phone number. You just have to wait just a couple seconds because that's the speed everybody's going to get in. So just okay. it's cool. I'm I thought you thought that Watch too. the screen here. Okay. Not yours. Okay, so um, spade suit is what the test is going to be for testing purposes. Would work with hearts too, but no reason to do two of them. And so when you have a five card spade suit is the question. With five cards, five spades, do we want to open it? One no trump, one spade. That is the question. That's what we're going to take a look at today. So I guess first off, if the responder doesn't have three spades, it's kind of mock snicks. It doesn't really matter much because you're not going to have an eight-card fit. So, okay, so we know that to do this test, we're going to have to have the responder with exactly two spades. But more, because some of the test criteria to run this test, you'd want to see, well, this responder doesn't always have to have two. So we're going to do a second test with, you know, I've got a little error there. I'm going to go with my eraser. I should have said, um, oh, what am I doing here? I'm supposed to be erasing. Um, okay, I'm going to just do some, some backups here. I wanted three spades is what I wanted there. <laughs> three spades is going to be the default test. That's the one we want to know is when there is a five and a three. There we got it. Okay, but the second test is going to be with zero to two because, you know, when you've got a five-card spade suit, that doesn't mean the responder always has to have uh, three. So we also want to take a look at the case where there's zero to two spades. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a simulation. And the simulation, let's see if I can, can I do another screen here? Is, uh, if I do next, yeah, that gives me a second screen. So I'm going to run 100 sample hands, 100 tests. And the first test is going to be with the 5-3 spade fit. The second test is going to be five with zero to two for the responder. And in other words, not a fit. In other words, yeah, if you've got um, the responder hand with invitational or game values, you're not going to be in spades at all. So you want to, how, how many of those types of hands are we going to get? I could have done a thousand or 10,000, but I think we'll get within a couple percent. I'm not trying to get too precise, just looking at orders of magnitude to see what's best. Of course, the biggest thing that will make the change is, did I do the test right? And what would be some of the other factors in the test? And I'll show you that in just a minute. So, so far, those are the two tests. 5-3 spade fit, um, 
Yeah, sounds like you might want to be in um, four spades rather than three no trump, but how many are those of the hundred hands that are dealt? And then the second one, how many when responder, like normal, maybe has zero to two? And I think for this test, there are some other factors. It's like, well, how many should be in the other suit? And I don't think it should be more than five cards in the other suits, or else there would probably be a different bid. Might be that they don't want to be in three no trump. Could be, but anyway, that's for the test. We're going to start with that. So I guess the responders' values is going to have 8 to 10 high card points. Could be quackers, could be all primary honors, aces and kings. I just don't know. We'll take a look at them. But that's kind of what I figured the test setup would be. And you may have some input on there. And I guess, um, Grace, looking on Facebook, do we see any other comments or things? I'm thinking I'm getting some inputs, but... Um, Oh, here comes some more. Okay. Uh, right now, the um, Facebook hello appears. Hello from Vancouver Island. Um, and John Thomas Willett, hello to you too. And uh, Mary Patricia and some others. So, okay. So, I think we're good so far. But I realize that I'm talking three minutes maybe ahead of what you are. You said it's About 25 seconds oh, right 25 now. 25 seconds yeah. on Facebook? Wow. That's good. Yeah, it's better. Okay. So, that's not too bad. So, okay, so far so good. So I hope that makes sense. Now we're going to take a look at how we set up Deal Master Pro. And uh, I think I'm going to be just clicking right here. Yep, that will do it. Okay, so this is where I have set up a criteria, actually two of them. This is the first of them in Deal Master Pro. And if you look at it, you can see that in the upper left hand corner, Point to it up there, <laughs> upper left-hand corner. It shows the number of, after the um, cards have been dealt, the hundreds of cards have been dealt, and the results. So I said, please play it. I want you to play these ends twice. I want you to play it where you're in four spades, or I should say just in spades, or you're in no trump. And how do we do? So if we're going to get a game in spades, we need to have 10 tricks. So I have in the box, the hand, the red box up there at the top, where it's not 10 tricks, it's um, less than seven, and it says zero if you're playing in the spade suit. Um, that's in the far left-hand part of the quadrant. And it says where there's less than seven, a little less than angle, it says zero. So, okay, sure, if um, it's 15 to 17 for the north hand, and up at the top, that's the north hand. And um, the south hand, I, we don't really um, see it here, but um, the south hand, as I said, is eight to 10 points. Yeah, we should be able to make, I guess, seven tricks and two times out of a hundred, it says, nope, you didn't make it even with eight to 10. So whether you should have been in five of mine or something, I doubt it, but um, we won't worry too much about that. And as far as um, the eight, um, and I shouldn't say it's gonna have a long suit because I said for the North hand, it would be balanced. And if it's got five spades and it's balanced, it's not gonna be um, a five, five, at least in the heart suit. <laughs> and I think if it was a five, five, two, one, it's not gonna be balanced yet because that means two and a one. So It'll knock those hands out. Okay, so um, when it comes to making eight tricks, 11 were in that category, and nine tricks, there were 32 in that category. So if we added up all of those that don't make the contract of four spades, and admittedly, some of them are going to be where you only have eight points, but there could be some distributional points, we can see that um, that adds up to 45. So you see over to the right there where it's got the big number 45, that's the number that are not going to be making four spades. Okay, so when it comes to the analysis in three no trump, well, now we don't need 10 tricks, right? We need nine tricks. So if we're talking about, I'm thinking it's an imps game or a rubber bridge game, not a match point where 10 points make a difference. But, oh, by the way, remember that if you get an extra 10 points playing in a no trump, then you still might be ahead. So anyway, let's take a look at the numbers there. Uh, we have three hands that don't even make seven tricks. And we have um, 15 hands that do make seven. Uh, we have another 32 that are making eight tricks. Don't make a game. So if we add that up, you say, well, that's 50 hands out of 100. So I think, Michael, I don't agree with your assessment that it should be in uh, a three no trump. We should be shooting for four spades. Remember, this is only where the south hand has three spades. Not going to be four spades because if you're thinking, well, with four spades, what about that? Well, if you open one no trump and I've got four spades, I'm going to do two clubs and we're going to find the 
nine card fit. So don't worry about that. It's only the hands that we're worried about is where responder has three fit. And in this case, you might make an argument, it's 5% better, and I couldn't really argue with you. So down at the bottom, you can see the north hands has 15 to 17, five spades, and less than four hearts. I don't think with five, four, you're going to open one no trump. So that's out. I think that if you have five spades and four hearts, open with one spade and rebid two hearts. Okay, okay. So the south hand you can see has eight to 10 points, has exactly three spades, and it has less than five hearts, or else you're going to be doing a transfer um, when you heard one no trump, and we can cut that out. And it has zero to five spades. If you had or clubs or diamonds, if you had more than five clubs or diamonds, there's probably some other bidding that's going to be going on. So I think that's a good model to use. So, but wait, there's more. That's where the responder has three spades, no more, no less. But we said that another thing could happen would be it would be zero to two. Um, I guess I, I wrote down zero to three, but it should say zero to two down here. So I, I had a little typo when I wrote this up, but this would be with zero to two. And now when we take a look at how we do in the contracts, we can see this is a, another hundred hands, not the same, another simulation. And we can see that I'm making nine tricks. It's 33 have the hundred don't make it. Eight tricks, 22, um, seven tricks, 14. So if you add those up, that says 69 times out of 100, you're not going to make it. Well, how about over in the um, no trump contract? Uh, well, it's 7 and 12 and 32 is 51. So you're going to be 18% worse going for the spade game than you are for the other. Now, admittedly, there will be, I don't know if I had 0 to 2, but you, we have some misfits there. But basically what I'm trying to illustrate is that the reason the pros and a lot of most of advanced players say, you know, if you've got a five card heart or five card spade suit, just go ahead and open it one no trump. It's more advantageous for other reasons too. Another one might be if I open one no trump, my left hand opponent is not so easy to come in with like say five clubs and four hearts or something like that. So, or maybe the other way, five hearts and four clubs. <laughs> It's a little bit harder than when you bid the one no trump because it implies a whole range of different values. So I think that's one of the advantages, and there are some others. I mean, obviously, wouldn't you rather the lead be coming to you, the no trump opener? So if your partner is going to be now captain because you've limited your hands, a partner does a statement or a transfer or whatever, it's like you'd like your hand to be the closed hand. You'd prefer not to have partner to be um, playing in like, three no trump and my hand exposed. Normally the no trump opening hand is at least half to one trick better for two reasons. One is because the lead's coming to you and they don't know what to lead. And second is you don't get to see the big hand. Nobody gets to see it. If um, it turns out I open one spade and we're in another contract, my hand's exposed, then well, everybody can see how to do the finesses. There's no secrets. So we like secrets. We like it to where we know and they don't. So there's a couple more reasons. So with that said as it may, let's go ahead and take a look at some hands. And let's see, do we have any comments here so far? No, we don't. Sorry. Ow. Everything okay? <laughs> no, I hurt my hand. <laughs> Grace is getting excited over there. <laughs> oh, and I guess I should say, speaking of um, excited, is that Grace is, uh, we're, we're here in Northern California, and we're going to take a little segue for a moment to have a laugh. And so Grace had, um, she likes to put... Uh, Facebook posts out. She has a lot of friends on Facebook. And so there's one where she is showing that the uh, order of the county health supervisor, or director, I should say, has said uh, we need to go beyond the uh, shelter at home. We need to go beyond the six feet distancing and to have um, a space not to be going out except when it's urgent type of matters. But now they're saying you got to wear a mask too because you might off on somebody and you might be a carrier and not even know it so uh, that happens in a couple days I think is when we have to go with that so Grace has um, got this mask I, at first you know I couldn't get him a couple weeks ago the N95s forget that and besides the people who really need them should have them but um, I saw where on eBay that I could get some that were for um, bicyclists and um, here's what it looks like um, I guess first off I'm gonna have to get rid of this screen I think we're through with that
Let's see if I can get this to come up now. I think you're telling tales after school. <laughs> uh, I hope not. So let's see. We want the which screen here. This screen. There we go. Okay. So here she is. Here's Grace. And um, this is where she is has her um, mask on, though. So she isn't going to be coughing on somebody and uh, having bad germs going there. She may be asymptomatic, but she hasn't gotten me infected yet. So maybe we're... Um, we're, we're good. We're good to go there. But um, so, Grace, I guess there was some kind of comment by one of your friends, Randy, who always has the funniest comments. So what did he have to say? Randy's comment was, Luke, I'm your mother. Luke, I am your mother. <laughs> Darth Vader may be your father, Luke Skywalker, but I am your mother, <laughs> Grace. So, so there she is. And I got to say, those little um, vents on the side there, they're kind of one-way vents. Is that you look um, quite um, noteworthy there, Grace. I wouldn't want you to be a, my opponent at the bridge table anyway. Yeah, the worst part was I got back in my car and noticed I had a hole in my glove. Oh, well, we won't go into that one too much, but that shit sounds like a whole other story. Exactly. Itself, doesn't it? One prevents life and one starts a life or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Right. And that's a different sort of prophylactic that we won't get into too much more. But thank you for sharing. And Amanda says, um, gosh, me too. And and John says, I was on, oh, Patricia was on the wrong video. Uh-oh. Well, I'm sorry about that. No, John, John was on the wrong video. So, yeah, that's always um, a little bit of a challenge if you're not on the right link. But, um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at some hands at this point, And uh, let's see what we've got. So this would be the first case where, oh, it looks like the second case. I see it says zero to three. So I'm going to try looking at the other deal here. And... I think this is the baby. Let's see. Yeah, I think this would do it. So if you see the hands that I do, I'm going to show all hands today, so we don't need to play these, but we're going to just kind of take a look at the scenario. So I mentioned this would be hands where North is going to have five spades, 15 to 17 points, and um, will be balanced. So there you go. So I, I think some of you might say, well, you know, geez, I've got eight of my points are all in the, spade suit michael shouldn't i maybe be opening one spade and yeah the more you get all your honors in the spade suit the more you ought to be doing that another factor to consider is when you have uh, a lot of aces versus secondary honors the more you have secondary honors now how many queens do we have two red queens here although the queen double ten and diamonds unless our partner has balancing by having more diamonds that could be a little bit of a challenge but this might be more of the hand. I might say, well, I've heard what um, other people have said. If you've got five spades, let's just go ahead and just open it one, no trump. This hand, I might be saying, yeah, I don't agree with that because I've got like quackers in the minors, and that could get where it mows over us. Look at the south hand. Do they have um, five-card suits there? Nope. They've got a three and a four-card suit, so... Yeah, um, I think for sure you can see that it's going to play better in spades. So everything I've told you so far about, you know, the pros and advance like to open in one no trump with a five card spade suit. I'd say this would be uh, something I would say differently. We've got three good honors, ace, king, jack, five times. But let's go take a look at some of the other hundred here and just kind of pop through them. Okay, here's another one. Oh, look at this. Ten, nine, seven, six, two. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, you're going to see people, they're going to be opening that if um, one no trump. And um, if they lead the diamond suit, your double tin. Hey, I've got two stoppers, two sentinels, the ace and the king. Let's look at the next one. Here's one with another. Um, okay, maybe did we come from that hand? <laughs> There's, oh, here's another one. Ace, queen, ten, nine, five times. Chance for repeated finesse. Now, you're not always going to get your partner if they don't have eight to ten. I did eight to ten points from south. The three spades always, and, um, well, yeah, I'd probably still be inclined, although that 10-9 kind of makes me want to go to the spade suit, and I hope you might think about that too. Ace-king five times, king, jack, doubleton, and diamonds, king, ten, third, and jack, three. Mm, it's, that's a, uh, I'm sure that even the pros would have different ideas, probably depending upon where they're at in a tournament, if they're in a knockout or something, so no clear answer on that one. Your mileage may vary. 
King Queen third or King Queen fifth, excuse me, of spades, Ace King tight in hearts, um, Jack ten third. Yeah, I think I'm going to open that one. One no Trump. Next one. There's again. We're not going to open that one probably. Well, I don't know. I got the Queen Jack third in diamonds. Mm, that's a that's a tweener. I'll probably open it one spade, but I with that Queen Jack third, it's. There's no clear answer on that one. Sorry. it's um, It depends. Holy smoke. I got 100 honors there, don't we? Ace, king, queen, jack of um, spades and one more. Yeah, I'm kind of inclined to open that one spade. And that's a rebiddable. You know, if you need to, I said, don't rebid a five-card suit except when you have to. But if you've got ace, king, queen, jack, the top 100 honors, yeah, it's almost like a six-card suit, provided you don't have to worry about roughing on your side suits and then run out of your primary trumps. So, yeah, I think that one I would go with uh, one spade. King, queen, jack, five times in spades. Um, nothing much in the club suit of doubleton. Um, no clear answer. Next one, ace, king, queen, five times. Yeah, I'm going to open it one spade. Another one, ace, king, jack, ten, five times, one spade. Queen, jack, ten, no doubt. I don't have to look anymore if I get 50 to 7. Queen, queen. Jack, 10, five times in spade. I'm going to open it. One no trump all day long. Next one, king, 10, five times. I'm open it. one no trump. We're looking at the north hand here. You might be looking at the south hand, but um, I hope that gives you a feel. Same for the king, 10, five times. Another one, ace, five times. And you get the idea. Even king, ace, king, five times. If that was clubs, I would open it. one no trump. And if it's spades with just ace, king, five times, sure, that's what I'm going to do. I like the fact that I've got... A queen, ten third of hearts, and ace, queen, nine of clubs. I'm not worried about the diamond suit. My partner better cover me or if everybody else goes down, whatever. And you can see the south hand has queen, jack, four times. Okay, so I think you've got a feel for that. Let's go off to the next hand. This is where the responder has zero to, I think, two or three. I can't, I'll have to take a look at it again. And this is where, yeah, zero to three, if that's right. So we're looking at the south hand. You can see no longer has three this time. This is more like what happens in real life. You know, last time I, we had that one specific thing. What if you have five and I have three, but now this is whatever the computer deals for 100 hands is the way it's going to work. Okay, so, oh, I said, but not having five hearts because or else I would do a transfer. So we'll exclude those hands. And this one, you've got the ace-queen five times, and you're going to open one no trump. I'm happy with that. We didn't have a spade fit, as you can see. And um, what do I do, need to do to get to the next one? Oh, I see. I, <laughs> I click down at the bottom, and I keep forgetting that I can't touch that. I have to keep this screen on when I do that. So, okay. So um, there's that ace-king-queen five times in double ten. So I didn't have three for you, partner, so we are going to end up in no trump anyway. Next one. You've got ace, queen, jack. I've only got king doubleton, so yeah, we're going to be in no trump. Ace, king, five times versus jack, three times. Oh, there I have three. Um, it's hard to say. We can see that we've got four one against us in spades, that 28% chance over in the west hand. And next one, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, we've got five, two, but look at there's five spades by the righty. So yeah, it's a good thing we're not a good, we're going to be in no trump in that hand. Next one, ace-king five times and queen doubleton in the south. I hope you're getting a feel for what's going on here is that um, we have, oops, I've reached into the file. I'm going the wrong way. I'll go just a couple more, but um, let me go down about 10 and just see what happens. There's a king 10 five times versus the three spades. And yeah, you're probably about as good to play in one as the other. And if you get the same score, but you're in no trump versus spades, you get an extra 10 points. If you're in match points, hoo hoo, you get more points. I'm wondering if we have any comments so far, though. I've been doing a lot of chitty chattering, and we're not going to be able to really probably play hands today. But um, I wonder if we have any comments coming from people. Grace, do you have anything coming up? Well, we have Tammy joining us. So welcome, Tammy. Nice to see you here. Hey, Tammy. Howdy. So, okay, so um, I'm trying to see if I had anything to kind of wrap this up or have any open it up to comments. But I think we're right at about 4.30. And uh, I guess so in summary, uh, what I'd like to say is that, you know, if you don't have something like uh, Deal Master Pro where you can have a simulator to deal hands to do this, you can go ahead and just say, um, I'm going to deal um, uh, north hand with five spades and 
you know, take a 13 and put it in each of the three hands and say, well, what if the um, hand to my left was my partner? What if the hand in the south was a partner? What if the hand to the right was my partner? And kind of get a feel for what I'm doing. You'll be able to look at three at a time. And that might be something as you get different. I'm not saying you do it for this situation. You could. But, you know, other types of scenarios where, you know, there's some, you say, well, I think we should do this. And your partner says, I think we should do that. You can go ahead and do your own kind of little simulation. Just deal out 13 cards and see what happens. And you'll quickly kind of get a feel to see if you support what your partner says or not. And if it's something that's um, in a book or, you know, bridge hands or whomever, you can challenge us too. That's okay. It's all fair. And then you'll be, I think, a little better equipped. But what happens at the table is we sit down, we pick up our 13 pace cords, and we say, oh, yeah, what am I, what's going on? And we're not so focused on the others, where if you actually as more put on your teacher's hat and say, what would the other hands look like? Well, how would I maybe make a lesson? It opens some new neural networks, I will say, in terms of how your synapses start to think that you're looking at the ecosystem rather than just from moi, <laughs> your own perspective. And that can be helpful for you at the table. So I would encourage you, if you're interested in improving your game, is to um, don't have always just people that you do this, you're going to live. You didn't do this, you're going to die. No, you know, kind of use some own discernment and think about the why. If you've ever seen any of Simon Sinek, S-I-N-E-K is the last name, on YouTube, he has um, uh, some really great videos. They've gotten on the TED Talks many millions of viewers. But Simon Sinek is, um, talks about the reason why we do things, whether it's, as he gives an example, for this device, the almighty phones that we have, or whatever it is, you know, not just the brand, but what stands behind it, what drives our emotions, and what drives our logic in our decision-making process. So does anybody have any final comments today? I'm just going to take a look and see if we have any more comments that come in. Patty um, says that's a good philosophy. Good philosophy. Thank you. So um, I guess in summary, just to kind of wrap it up, I would say is that when you have a five-card major, um, don't be afraid to open it uh, one no trump. If you have a lot of honors in two suits, though, it's like, mm, now it's getting kind of dicey. Your partner may have the honors in that suit or you may get mowed down by the opponents in those suits. So if you've got, you know, some queens and jacks in your hand, then it feels more like no trump. If you've got like um, ace, king, queen five times in a major and only primary honors, aces and kings, it sounds to me like it belongs more in a suit contract. And I'm going to finish then with one thing just to kind of give one bit of bonus information. And I'm sure that some of you are going to relate to this and or maybe have been thinking about it too. So let's see if, I can cover one more thing. So we're going to erase that screen. And that is that what if you want the best of both worlds? Yes, I saw the odds and everything, but I would like it so that I can open one of a major. And I would like to have my partner know that I've opened one of a major. Or excuse me, one no trump with five of a major, as I want to say. So, yeah, if you've got like where you have five of a major and you're opening one no trump and your partner is asking you about that, how do you do that? Well, you give away one bid that hardly comes up. This bid would come up more, and that is something by Marty Bergen. We've heard about people that play the Bergen Raises, and um, when he and Larry Cohen were in their prime 20 years ago and winning a lot of international tournaments, they came up with um, the puppet Stamen. Now, there's two kinds of puppet stamens. There's the one that um, Kit Woolsey had. He lives about 40 miles from us here on the East Bay of California. And then there's the Marty Bergen. And so we're talking about the three club in the after a one no trump opener. So it opens one no trump. And you as responder, as you're wondering, is that does partner... have five cm five card major that's your question i want to know acquiring minds must know so the responder bids three clubs which is an alertable bid because normally three club would have some other meaning so if you play it like five five in the minors but not game forcing hands that's like okay that doesn't come up hardly ever if you've been playing that it hardly ever comes up this will come up more often i guarantee you and it says i have 
10 or more points. So we have enough for game to make this bid. And um, I have either a four card major, or I'm going to underline that, a three card major. Because I want to know if you have a five card spade or heart suit, and I have three in that suit, then haha, -ha, we still found our fit. How about that? So that's where the bids are. I don't know if I have enough time. 435, I guess I could go through it. So the opener, um, if you don't have either of those, just merrily go ahead and bid your three no trump because you know that was asking if you have a five card major. Nope. How about a four card major? Nope. Don't have that either. If I have a five card major, then yeah, I can bid three spades or four spades depending upon your partnership grit. But it said, yeah. Uh, but you wouldn't really want to do four spades if your partner had the other, right? So you would have to do three spades or three hearts to show your five-card suit. And if your partner doesn't have three in that suit, you know what they're going to do. They're going to go three no trump. So I, I hope that gives you a little feel. You can look up on bridge hands and go um, puppet stamen. <laughs> And they'll say, do you want the Kit Woolsey or do you want the uh, Marty Bergen? And this is the um, one no trump with three club response. So, Grace, yes. John is saying they had three hearts. Okay, so um, I had said I have five spades. And my partner, the responder, had three hearts but didn't have three spades. And they would go three no trump. So we would be in the three no trump contract. If it turns out, though, that I have um, four of a suit and not five, then how does that work? So I'm going to erase all this stuff. So it goes one no trump. And my partner bids three clubs. And I've got um, four, three, four, two. That's four spades, three hearts, four diamonds, and two clubs. So, yeah, I don't have a five-card suit, so um, I do have a four-card suit, though. So I go to three diamonds, which says, partner, I have a four-card suit. Aha. And that's the way you can find it then by a responder can say, well, here's my four-card suit. And if not, you don't have fit. I'm not going to go into all the back and forth there, but that's the more complicated one that takes a little bit of work with your partner just to see that. So if it was one no trump, three clubs, I don't do the four card major, but I have a four card minor. Now we have to try to find that. And I start with three diamonds and my partner will bid the opposite minor. Why is that? So that I can be the one who plays. So that's the way that works. But anyway, you've got the feel. And so I just wanted to kind of thought today as we do something a little bit different, is it when do you open one no trump at the five card major? And if you want to get fancy and you want to play the Bergen um, puppet stamen, then you can do that over a one no trump opening bid. Grace, yes. And John says in puppet bid, non three card M. Um, I'm going to see if I can get that up here also. So um, John says in puppet bid, non three card major. Um, I'm not sure I understand the context of that question. Give me a second to kind of digest it. Bid non three card major. Um, I guess I don't know if you're talking about the opener responder, but I think what you're saying is that the opener, if you have um, a situation where, let's say, you don't have five of a, a major, don't have four of a major, which can happen, right? You can have three, three in the majors, then you're just going to go to three no trump for that scenario. So I think what you're talking about is where it happens to be where um, you have a four card major and I think you're talking about the responders bid and so they bid the suit that they don't have a four card major yes so I think I got it now so in this situation the way John is saying it so one no trump and, and this is the hand I've got here four three four two and um, so what I'm going to do is as responder now let's say what I've got is a Three, um, four, three, two. Okay, I've got four hearts. Oh, I need to have one more here, don't I? Um, I'm going to make this three. Four, triple, three. There we go. Four hearts. Ew. <laughs> I think I want to be in three, no trump. But um, in this case, after 
three diamonds. Uh, I'm going to bid the one I don't have a four card suit. I'm going to bid the one with three card suit. So yes, I'm going to do three spades to bid the opposite of the one I have four. If my partner happened to have four, four in the majors, then they would say, oh, cool, four spades or four hearts. Um, otherwise, you know, they could go the other way. Grace, another question. John has a couple more comments up Oh my there. gosh, John, you're w working me today. He's going to make you work hard for your money, honey. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, John. Or maybe you work hard for mine, one of the two. Okay, three after three diamond by opener, uh, you bid major. Um, so the, uh, the um, opener, the one no trump opener, always bids their major. <laughs> yes, because they want to be the declarer. So the, the philosophy, and if you can't remember, did it, did it, did it, back and forth, just remember the overall why that we do this is to try to find the eight card fit. Principally, when we have a five, three fit, when I have opened with five. Secondarily, we don't want to miss the things that the stamen people are doing. We don't want to give that up because we might have four or four. So we want our cake and we want to eat it too. Well, wow, really? <laughs> so yeah, so what you're doing is the opener will always bid their suit. If I have five, I bid five. If my partner, um, I bid three diamonds and they say, uh, well, do you have a four card? I will bid my four card and then my partner will make the final arbitrary because they are the captain and I've told them, not only I have a five bagger or not, or if I have a four card major or not. Grace. Well, that takes us to David, and I think you might have just answered that. He says, what if the responder has two four card majors? Yeah, that's okay. Then you just go ahead and pick one. <laughs> I guess I'd go like this. I don't know if you can see me, but I mean, I, I sometimes, I, I like to have fun at the table. I go, <laughs> and I'm sniffing back and forth. <laughs> and Director. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you sniffing? I'm, I'm trying to figure is which one of you has a lot in this suit. <laughs> you know, and they're like looking at, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm a little crazy sometimes. But, you know, I, I can do <laughs> things for um, a little comedy laugh as long as it doesn't get a director call and take too much time. So, yeah, in that situation is that you can just pick one. And uh, if partner, um, you know, if when they bid three diamonds, didn't bid three, no Trump. They said, I do have one. So if I said, well, I'll pick um, spades, and they don't have the spades, they go to three, no Trump. Then I say, well, okay, I'm going to go to four hearts. And because I know that you said you had a four card, if you don't have spades, ergo, you must have diamonds. Yes. John Thomas says, with both majors after three, D responder bids yes. 40. Well, you know, that is an advanced treatment, and that works beautifully because they said they've had one so four diamonds would be for some people it would be um vuja day i've never seen that bid before it's a little more advanced now isn't it but yes you do that i said i have both of them some people say oh it sounds like they were really wanting to go uh, a slam in the diamond suit so just be sure that your partner is in synchronicity with you and that you're not like going off of the railroad tracks into oblivion well, anyway, that's been 40-some minutes, so we've got our money's worth on this. I hope you enjoyed that today. I'm sorry that uh, YouTube was not working today. YouTube is not happy. That's the first. I'm normally so proud of it, but it says error. YouTube is not receiving enough data. Well, no, I'm giving it. I'm doing dual streams, going to Facebook, and I'm going to YouTube. And so everything is leaving River City here just fine and peachy. I hold my money on that, so... Sometimes these things will happen, and uh, I hope you will be patient. And um, if not, you know, we can go ahead and take a look at the recorded videos later. Um, look at it over on the other channel because they're always up on Facebook and YouTube. But to thank you for coming today, for your participation, and we'll see what I can dream up on more hand simulations the rest of this week. Yes. And thanks for all that love you're giving us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Tammy. That's right, Tammy. Yeah, thanks you all for being here today. And I've got to say, I think I mentioned this yesterday, but the more comments we get, and we're getting great comments there that are not only helping us because this is your channel, not just Grace is my channel, and that the more that we get that, the more the Google juice comes down with YouTube, and they say, hoo-hoo, this is looking good. You guys are getting a lot of comments. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put it higher in the rankings. So when somebody searches for, um, let's say, bridge, <laughs> you know, or no Trump or whatever, you know, we got a handful of different tags and also the different items. But yeah, when we get more um, popularity, then it allows us to get to a bigger audience and to do more things on the channel, like all this um, live streaming stuff we're doing here. So I want to say thanks for being here today. I hope you have a good time. And just remember, 
Happy trails. That was easy. So do what you can to be out there. Have a great time. Enjoy your game. And Grace, you want to come in here and say... Oh, she I, does, I'm, I'm going to do them all a favor today. I did she, not sleep good. I have not had a shower. She so doesn't have her makeup on. I don't have my makeup on. So I will see you all tomorrow on YouTube and Facebook. Same bat station. We look forward to seeing you there. Okay. Thanks all. Peace out and happy trails to you. Oh, oh Larry says time for Dale Evans and Roy Rogers. Okay. That's right. That's coming true. Patty, happy we trails you. to you until, until we meet again. again. Bye-bye. See y'all. Bye-bye.